What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and today's video we're gonna run through Google Ads cost per click. How, how should you set your initial bids on a brand new campaign? All right, so I'm gonna walk you through exactly my logic on how I do that. Now, keep in mind, I've been doing this so long that most um, niches, I can just, if we get an onboard for like say, a, a, a junk removal guy or a plumber or an HVAC guy or, um, you know, a SaaS software, something. I know right away what all my bids are going to be set at because I've been doing this for so long and I've had to do it so many times. Um, but each market is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to show you if you're new or don't know what, how you should really be setting your bids, how to uh, how to set that up right out of the gate. All right, so what you're looking at right now, actually, before I get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I, I always forget to say that. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the links in the description. There's a lot of stuff in there for you guys and uh, some free courses, all kinds of stuff. All right, so if we go into the keyword planner on Google Ads, so what you're gonna do is first, you're gonna take your keyword. So in this example, we're gonna do just pizza delivery, right? So we're, let's say we're running a campaign for a pizza shop, all right? So we're gonna put our main keyword in, which is pizza delivery, we're gonna get results. We have to make sure though we change to our location that we're actually servicing, that we get more accurate um, search volumes. So I'm in Bucks County, so we'll just do that. Okay, that's probably going to change our cost. Per, yep, it is. <clears throat> All right, so you do your location of the your campaign. You do your main so your main theme keyword. So this should be an ad group, right? So pizza delivery is going to be an ad group, one ad group in a pizza shop campaign. All right, so you got to do this by ad group because each ad group is going to have different um, cost per clicks based on the keywords and stuff like that. So just keep in mind when you're watching this video, this is how you do it per ad group. Okay. All right. So first ad group, pizza delivery. Right, let's get a spreadsheet here. Ad group one, pizza delivery. Cool, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna come back over and we're gonna look at <clears throat> top of page low range, top of page high range, all right? So there's two different ways you can do this. You can go with the lower, Google's telling you this is what the lowest you can bid to show up at the top of the page. And if you wanna, if you wanna be at the top of the page aggressively, this is what you should be betting, all right? I personally always go top of the page because I need to get leads quick for my clients so I can't you know, mess around for a week letting adjusting bids up and down and doing stuff like that. So for this example, I'm going to take top of the page, which I'm sure you guys will appreciate because it'll get you results faster as well if you implement this. So the main keyword is $4, right? So we'll take the main cost per click, the main uh, lead cost is $4 for that main keyword. We'll put that there pizza delivery near me, so we can that definitely use this keyword in that ad group, and that is actually higher, that's 734. Keep going down, see Pizza Hut, that would be a great negative if we're a pizza shop, because we are not Pizza Hut. Domino's another one, pizza place near me, that's for another ad group. <clears throat> Remember, we just want delivery, right? Order pizza online, that's another ad group. Pizza Hut, Domino's, Little Caesars. Man, these guys really closest pizza place. All right, so let's just actually add a filter on here so we can try and get this faster. And we'll just do, we want to see keywords that say, that have the word delivery in them. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back up to the top. Main keyword. Got this one. These are all brands, which you obviously want to negative out. Best pizza delivery near me. That's a good one. 941. So what we're doing here is we're finding the top Google's top click price to be at the top of their search results, right? And we're just going to add them down in this column here under our ad group. And then we're going to set our initial bid limit cap, which I'll go over in a minute. Local pizza delivery 341. That's nice because I'll bring that down a little bit. Keep going here. Online pizza delivery. We can take that one. Actually, not even a suggestion for that. <clears throat> Got no more suggestions. All right. So let's just say you go through, and obviously, guys, this is a weird uh, niche. So in a normal niche, you're going to have a lot of different keywords. So let's say you went through and you found about mm, 10. I'd try to go 10 to 15. All you're really going to do is average these together. Right, so I don't know the formula in Excel. I'm really bad with that. That's Ed's Ed's jam is uh, doing all the Excel stuff. So I'm just gonna do this manually. So let's do four 
plus 7.34 plus 9.41 plus 3.41. And then we're just going to divide that by 1, 2, 3, 4, divided by 4. All right, so this is, well, that is not right. All right, either way, <laughs> so my math's terrible. We need to uh, average this. So you're going to set your bid limit cap. Say you're using, say you're using um, maximize clicks. So for this ad group, we're going to set our our um, bid limit cap at whatever this is going to say. And I just lost where I was again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really terrible with math, which is funny considering marketing is my career. Three forty one. All right, so that equals 24. Then we're going to divide that by 4. 604. Okay, so that's what our bid limit cap is going to be. Now, I actually go a little higher. I would actually bump this to like 630 just to give myself a little cushion um, and Google, for Google's algorithm to play with that, the bidding algorithm. So that's what we're going to do for this ad group. So ad group one, pizza delivery. We're going to set our initial bids at 634. I would say I would go 20 cents, 10 cents, whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter, but you don't want to go below this number. Okay. Cause we're going to average this together. So we're going to set our initial bids at this to start, or if you're running maximize clicks campaign and you're using that um, auto bidding strategy, we're going to set our bid limit cap for, well, actually you can't really do that at the ad group level. So what you're going to have to do is go through each of your ad groups and figure out what your, um, what your average cost per click is price per click is going to be. And then average all those together and then create that for the in campaign level. All right. You'll get an idea. Like it could be, I mean, we can go through a bunch of different ad groups here and it could be like this one's six, this one's 10, this one's 20. I mean, it's going to be, they're all going to be different because they're different keywords, but just to get for an initial start to building your campaign, this is a quick way that you can just get results decently quickly without having to try and figure out what the hell am I supposed to be bidding here? All right. So, Top of the page, remember, top of the page is where we're getting these numbers from. These are on the higher side for the more higher intent keywords. So you might actually want to bid a little higher, but this is just a guideline on, on what you should be, how you should be structuring your, your uh, initial bids, all right? So this is not gospel. This is flexible. You can go higher. I usually do because um, I want the results faster. But this is a quick way that you can um, figure out what you should be bidding per ad group or at a campaign level. Do all your ad groups in the Excel sheet or something like that and then average them all together, and then you have your bid limit cap for your overall, the entire campaign. And you can let Google do its thing. All right, so hopefully um, this video was helpful. I'm sorry, I was kind of like jumping all over the place. I haven't done this in a while. Because <laughs> I, like I said, I kind of just walk into a niche and I know what it is. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below in the uh, below the video, and I'll, I'd be happy to help. But just this is something, just a little tool to keep in your back pocket if you're ever go into a client work or your own business and you're just not sure where to even start, this is a quick, easy way where you can figure out the ballpark of what you should be starting at, right? And then obviously you adjust, you increase or decrease based on if you need more impressions, if you're not getting clicks, if you're not, you know, that then you go into optimization tactics, which you can go to our channel and check out the optimization videos. All right, guys, um, don't forget to subscribe and check out the links in the description. I will see you in tomorrow's video.